there's no one definite answer or number for the number of eggs that you need to have for a successful IVF cycle. The more, the merrier. To understand this, you have to understand what naturally happens in an IVF cycle. So say for example, 20 eggs are recovered. Out of them, 17 or 18 will be mature. Out of them, about 12 or 13 or 14 will fertilize. Out of them, only about 6 or 7 will develop to the highest form of development outside the human body, which is blastocyst stage. Now, out of this 6 or 7 embryos, at least 40% will be genetically abnormal in a young couple. As you grow older, this 40% may become 50, 60, 70 or even 100% of the embryos may be abnormal. So, in an ideal situation, even if 40% was abnormal, out of this 6 or 7 embryos, 2 to 3 or maybe max 4 embryos are going to be genetically normal and then all the other factors will play in, in terms of your uterus, body, luck, etc. for giving you a pregnancy. So if you start with 20, you land up with maximum of say 3 embryos. And that is the most important factor, which is why we need more eggs and good quality eggs to produce those 3 or 4 genetically normal embryos. So that brings us to earlier you do the IVF cycle, at a younger age that you do the IVF cycle, maybe lesser number of eggs would also be able to give you a pregnancy because ultimately one genetically normal embryo is all that we need to give you a successful pregnancy.